Hey dude, it's Sean. I was uh, working on my lathe the other day and I noticed that the uh, the uh, half nuts were, you know, ha the lead screw had quite a bit of slop in it. And um, when I went to look at, observe what was going on, I noticed that they, uh, the you, you could pull the handle, that handle right there, you could pull it. And the, 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 the the nut wouldn't move. Can't even talk today. Haven't been feeling the greatest today. The nut wouldn't move, but I took it apart here and I noticed that the get it sideways here. Sloppy in that groove in that slot right there. And I rolled it over. The pin is just wobbly loose wallered itself out so what I did is I took a uh, tap drilled it and tapped it and put a uh, a cap head in it one of those and now let's see if we can get it in there turn it around Sorry, not pointing your right direction there. But now, um, there's no play. So, I'm going to do the same thing with that one there and see if we can get rid of it. You know, I even went as far as before I took it apart here. I had a, um, a tap, and it's, uh, kind of an oddball thread let least talk about talked about it's a trapezoidal thread of course like acne but this is a uh, t16 by 2 and I know we'll, uh, quite a few of these uh, Chinese made lathes have that that lead screw so what I did is uh went ahead and got a tap in his left hand all right, so I went ahead and got a tap. And the lead screw looks really good, and um, the nuts don't look bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do the same thing on this one, and uh, hang on. All right, folks. Uh, went ahead and did that. Got them all ready to go. They're both uh, they're both the same. And I took a file and got the burrs off. So uh, there's our half nut handle there, and uh, these just fit down in the, I know you can't see how they fit, but they just have a, a slot, and this just slides in them, and then there's a wedge, the other half of the dovetail. on there and it just slides in there between that dovetail right there that's how they slide and the other dovetails built into the actual there we go got that in there now we need to put these two little tiny four millimeters back down in there. Let me go get a three. Pretty sure I had it out there. That's fantastic, right? Ah, sweet. 
All right, I got another set right here. Nope. Standard. We need the metric ones. Right about there. I think that one will do it. Perfect. Now I did find out that with these Oh yeah, that's a lot better already. Because before those two screws, you couldn't tighten them all the way or the half nuts would get locked up. Yeah, now you can tighten them up and that half nut moves. And as soon as you... Interesting. All right. So how this works, though, I forgot to one step here. You loosen these back up. You loosen those up. And then you got your gib screws right here. Kind of the, that gib has to move. And that allows you to get the, the sideways play out of your half nuts. So like that one in there. It's kind of But as soon as you move that now, that handle, the half nut moves. Which is a lot better than it was. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and tighten these to where they're quite tight and then I'll back them off. Hopefully that'll get everything seated and then I'll back them off. There we go. And that is tight now, right? Well, it still moves, but that's there's no sideways, so I'm gonna back them off. A little at a time. don't take much but this will hopefully make a huge difference in my half nuts clamping around the lead screw well there's no play now a little too tight I'm not really fond of that so I haven't put the ball in um, there's a little ball and uh, for the detent that's better. I like it. Uh oh. Fire. Here there's apartment fire. My uh, dogs like to howl. That's a so much better though. There's a spring and a ball that goes in this end. Let's bring you in here. Hopefully you can see a little better. You know, kind of shaky out here with this, oh the tripod well I'm barely yeah. you barely touch this in the nut moves nuts move now you barely move this and the nuts move so that's going to be so much better I think I like it. And they're not moving sideways. You know, there's no no sideways movement. So we'll adjust these a little bit better when we get it in there, but that seems to be real good right there. I really like it. I think that's gonna improve things. Yeah more positive reaction on that nut now.
feels a lot better. I'm going to go ahead and tighten these and see what happens. Yeah, that just got too tight, so I don't see how you're supposed to adjust the gib with them tight. It just kind of clamps them down, so what I'm going to do is loosen these off just a little bit and then tighten those. Well, they didn't howl this time. They're not real fond of sirens. No Cooper, he goes right off. Boy, that has got no play in it now. I like it. However, I like it a little bit looser. Alright, let me fiddle with this mess. We'll put it back together and we'll see what we got. All right, uh, well, we got this lead screw out, though, my handle right here. I uh, made it out of, and um, it's got uh, recycled bearings in it out of a fidget spinner. And um, that was a bad idea. It's amazing how um, loose those bearings got just in a fidget spinner, but imagine I know where the bearings were made. Probably the same place my own one I'm, ones I'm putting in there are, were made. But the ones I'm putting in there are quite a bit more smaller. Uh, hang on a sec. Sorry about that. I had to get a wrench. Um, yeah, these these are uh, yeah junk. <laughs> so I made another handle, also because this handle is quite heavy. And I needed something a little light, lighter. So uh, hang on, and we'll show you the difference between the weights of these handles. All right, folks, we got the uh, scale out here, and I got both of the handles. This is the old one, and this is the new one I made. So we're going to turn it on. We get it on ounces. Here's the old one. That weighs 7.88 ounces, you know, with bearings and all. All right, and then here's the new one that I made. 3.7 ounces. That's a huge difference. All right, so that's going to make a lot of difference because that that one wanted to try to self-adjust. It was just so heavy. So that was going to make some difference. Alright folks, that cured it. That did a good job. And I got my handle on there. Nice bearings. And it doesn't move like, you know, you can put it where you want it. And it will stay there while you're doing other things. Now you can lock the carriage. No problem, but you don't always want to do that. You just want to leave it for a minute, and you don't want it to move. And now you, it won't move. So that took the slop out of it. That took the slop out of it. So that 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 half nut was due to be serviced up. So. Uh, I do have some on order and um, waiting on them. Waiting, waiting. I've been waiting 30 days already. And um, anyways, I do have a a, a tap, and I can make a, a nut insert to fit this lead screw if I have to, and then split it, and then put it in there. And um, I can I can make my own half nuts if I have to, but I'd I'd really like to have just a factory one. But I got it all adjusted up, and it works great.
everything works good now so great fix great great fix all right that concludes this one now i got to get the vacuum cleaner out and clean the chips off of it and she's ready to roll again thanks for watching guys love y'all take care bye bye